This project started back in December where we came to Gresson Hall and they were inspired by the inmates who'd lived here and the tales that they had to tell. They then went away and wrote this amazing new piece together to the workhouse door. The Gresson Hall team have been amazing. They have got an incredible team of actors that have brought the spaces to life and have really inspired the young people and the artists that we're working with on this project. After the Inspiration Day, where we'd been here, we'd soaked up all of the amazing stories. The team then went into Forsham and Corston Primary School and to work with the community choir at Gresson Hall to um, create their own pieces. Lucy went in to do writing workshops with all the young people and the community choir. And from those sessions, they created the lyrics. Dave, Christina and James went into each of the groups and took from the young people ideas for melodies and they created the amazing pieces. After Lucy wrote the words, I took them away and made up all of the different songs that the children learned. And then after that, I went into all three groups, so the two primary schools and the community choir, and took the words that they'd made up and set them with the children, the young people and the adults, and we turned them into brand new songs. In Fulsham, they created a piece all about being in the playground, being free. In Corston, they created a piece about the horrors of the refractory. And the community choir did a piece that was all about the visiting committee, very stern. David Lawrence, the conductor, then visited each of the groups again to get them to really up their singing technique. We sang through the pieces um, and just got them feeling very confident with it all. With Hazel, we went and worked in the two primary schools to think about some more dramatic elements of the project. So they each created a playground scene, which they then performed in the workyard. After the music had been written and the children were learning the music, I started working with the young people. So we were thinking of ways to bring the space to life and we used the uh, playground here, the outside men's yard, and we thought about what it would be like to be a playful young child in the Victorian times. And that was a, a really interesting, imaginative exercise. So we had some really good fun doing that and the children enjoyed performing those, which happened before the concert. We've come to Gresson Hall in these amazing grounds and we've put out our enormous purple inflatable venue and we've brought the groups together for the first time. The schools came together with the soloists and started rehearsing their pieces together and then finally we were joined by the full orchestra. Amazing seeing the, the venue next to the, the workhouse and just getting a sense of the historical environment that we were in and standing on the stage and looking out and seeing this workhouse that we were singing about. I've never been in like a proper auditorium or something before and that really set the scene for me well. It definitely felt different to the normal school plays we do. Today we've had a whole load of other school groups join us that haven't had workshops with us but have been supported by Norfolk Music Hub. So they joined us in the audience and joined in at moments. With the young people joining in in the audience, them learning the song had helped them to get inside the piece. So what it meant was that they found a way in and to engage with it. The piece tells the story of Mary, who came to the workhouse because she had no other option. She had a baby and she was cold and desperate. Mary's interesting. We see her at the beginning with her baby and she's turned up. Um, she's been deserted by the father of the baby and she's left destitute and really with no option but to go into the workhouse. So we meet her at the beginning in that situation. And it's a, a very harsh start for her. And she doesn't really fit readily into that. She's, uh, she's allowed to keep her, her son until he's seven, but then they get separated um, and she, she can't handle that. And then she gets thrown into sort of life in the workhouse. I play the master in, in this piece and I start as a rather stern man. And uh, Mary turns up at my door and I'm a little bit hard on her, but actually by watching her, her influence on everyone in the workhouse, 
over a period of seven years, I really softened my stance and realized actually she's a real asset to this place. I asked her to work with me and run the workhouse. So it's a real sort of, it's a story of hope and uh, looking to the future. I mean, we've had the most fantastic time doing this project. I think the kids have been absolutely fantastic. They've really risen to the occasion. They have sung their hearts out and it's been a total joy. It's been brilliant working with the children. They are so great. They're energetic and enthusiastic and they bring it every time they come on the stage. And I think it's opened the children's eyes to the world of classical music and opera. Um, and they've been sort of brought in gradually so that then there's still that moment when they hear an operatic voice for the first time and the shock on their faces. I thought the performance was amazing. Um, in terms of us being part of the audience, it was really great because the kids have been just learning snippets. So to have it all sort of filled in was, was really helpful for the kids. When Mary and the master started singing, they were quite shocked, I think, by the operatic style. But it was the perfect introduction really to that style of music for them because they could understand it, they knew the bits of the story and it all made sense, so it was a you know, really great opportunity. We've had a lot of support and some really good stuff from the composer and the lyricist as well to help us stretch it out across the curriculum. I think it'll be really, really great for the confidence and performing arts, arts and the music. Some of the children, it's the first time maybe they've heard you know, trumpet being played or opera singers. There's so many new experiences that they're being introduced to just with this one performance. The, the amazing thing about working is that children begin to see how drama and music come together to tell a story. And something amazing about a project like this is children really being able to put those two things together to, for this amazing kind of storytelling. And hopefully one of those disciplines or perhaps both together will have taken light for some of them and that will encourage them to go ahead and have the confidence to join a youth theatre or be part of the next school play, which would be great. This project has been absolutely amazing. We've worked with these young people over the last few months. They're seven and eight years old and they've just sung their socks off and just they've been amazing to work with and they just gave the performance of their lives. So the great thing about this project is that it started with the stories here from Gresson Hall and it ended up with us bringing these stories back to Gresson Hall. It was something real for the young people and hopefully it will inspire them to think about music and history in a different way in the future.